I'm a bad B. They stay looking, but these brothers can't have me. They call me London. Okay, this is you. This is for you. And you're gonna hate what I got you. Because <laughs> you're outside. You're gonna hate it. But I got it for you anyway. <laughs> yeah. This is for you. <laughs> it's your birthday. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's your birthday. You're, you're meant to feel like a diva. From me in the middle. Oh, Bloody hell, mate. It's boiling in here. You can actually come, you know. Yeah, but there's nothing to see. Just me putting in the car. Look. Guys, don't mind the car. It's a bit dirty, but we move. Show inside. See guys. I don't know if it was recording. I pressed the button. It is. Give me the buttons on. See guys. But you were zoomed. You're too zoomed in. <laughs> guys, I had to buy the pink pen so that you know we could. Sign. We're in the middle of Westfield, mate. In the middle of Westfield, trying to pattern Gaddy's birthday. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Period. Let's see the lovely message. Wait, can I read your line? Have a wonderful, blessed birthday, and I wish you to see many, many more blessings and, of course, more birthdays. Uh, it's cute. Sorry, my sibling tries to go on it. Um, <laughs> when I'm a star, darling, you can sell it. <laughs> I will sell it, period. So there's, there's my message, guys. It just said to God, Philip, aka Daniel, happy birthday, my love. Hope you have, hope you had, oh no, guys, hope you have, shit. Hope you have you a fantastic <laughs> day, you sexy boy. Yes, that's underlined. Uh, yeah, pro, that's underlined sexy boy. Hello. Sexy boy, love you. Know Mommy. Nice yeah, I literally, I put my full name. I don't know what I was thinking. But we, whatever. And then, I think, on top, this is a card. I think we should write Wataguan. I don't know how to actually spell Wataguan for Wataguan. I think you should do the honors. You should Wait, do the honors. What are we writing that? What, on the, on the, just on the card. Wataguan for Wataguan. Because you're, you're, you're Jamaican. Yeah. Because I don't have to spell, spell that. I'm not going to lie to you. And that long design for you, right? Oh my god, lovely. Is it today? The, it's tomorrow. Take it out the bag when you get home. Okay, right. thank, you. thank you. Look at Gaddy's. <laughs> this is such a bad video. Look at Gaddy's balloons, guys. Yay! Me was built. Nice and sunny park. So, what was I saying? So basically guys, story is, um, me and Gade met this year, or the first time we met was at his, um, where he interviewed me. Um, and yeah, I'm not the best judge of character, but I got a very good energy off him. Very, very good energy. Felt like he was a very, very like warm spirited, spirited person. And he gave me very, very much broken bird. A lot of us are broken birds, so that's not shade, like even me, like, do you know what I mean? You can tell when someone's a little bit hurt going through it. Very much broken bird. But, in, um, and also because of the broken bird thing I felt from him, I felt he was a bit like, um, a bit, a bit, um, a bit closed off in, 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 in essence. Do you know what I mean? It gets like that. Of course you're going to be a bit closed off. Oh, fuck some, you know, he needed like some tender love and care. Um, and then like a little bit like a little bit skeptical of new people just a little bit like he's had his guard up so he so he should do you know what I mean he'd been through quite a lot 
um, I was really shy to get to know him because I was I looked at him like here you have to understand that him and his friend his um, ex-best friend Renee like at the end of the day as much as like they're not friends anymore they had achieved a lot together they'd achieved quite a lot like so like I would always have to you have to give credit where credit's due yeah, you have to give credit where credit's due and um, those two they've achieved quite a lot together um, you know in terms of being youtubers you have to put respect on their name so I, I had this sort of an aura about God I had this certain aura to, to, to me you know like you know giving me very much celebrity to a certain degree God I need baby powder under my tits oh I've got baby powder in the car off oh, where I stop I'm putting the baby powder underneath my tits because we're not having this well because guys when I don't put baby powder under my tits it goes like funny like I get these little oh it's disgusting it's like it's not mold but my skin goes a bit brown it goes a bit darker it's nasty it's like mold but you know shh, don't tell anyone but yeah very much like um I saw Gade like up there like a celebrity I suppose isn't it like you know and he's a hard-working youtuber like he's got so many subs compared to me like I just had to put respect on him so with me like I found him quite intimidating but not because he's done anything I just find him intimidating because I was impressed with who he was um, and this goes for most people who have built a platform for themselves you know like you respect them do you understand like even Renee but this is about Gade but um, you know so I proper like respected him I'm um, just really shy because you know when you feel intimidated by people you don't know if you can get like ever really be their friend like you just you don't feel like you're on their level I'm just being honest do you know what I mean I saw Gade like up there I didn't think like oh right like because he's got way more subs than me on YouTube like to me he was like a real YouTuber you know what I mean like, he does it full time I like I was doing it part time now I do it more full time because I'm able to like work for myself and stuff but yeah it was like I proper looked at him like wow you know so um, when I when I started to get to know him and stuff he's so nice and I want to guys tell you like a really quick story for the first time I realized how sweet he was and how much like he's actually like just a really nice person and um just really like I would really be like honored to have him as a friend in my life and before I tell the story I just want to say a lot of you have seen him on Batchat and like sometimes maybe you think you get the wrong impression of him like when you're on shows like Batchat or any any show to be honest with you where you're trying to be like trying to get your point across but you're trying to be humorous sometimes you can say things that can be offensive it doesn't mean that you are an asshole or you mean you mean to offend people or you're trying it sometimes it's very it's just very hard on those type of shows it's like it's a lot of people shouting over each other it's a lot of people giving their opinions um, and yeah, it's, it can, it's not always that when you go onto TV, reality TV, all these things that people will see all of you, especially with that type of show where people sometimes want to see the, the funny side of you, they want to see the side of you that's going to say some wild stuff. So sometimes you, you, you may not come across the way you come across on your YouTube channel where you just show all sides of you because I feel like on, on, on YouTube, especially if you're a very, very um, transparent YouTuber, people see all sides of you they see your soft side your stupid side your dumb side your funny side your charismatic side your your aggressive side your angry side your hurt side. like they see so much of you they get to know you on a very round round level so i feel like when you see Gane on back chat you're just seeing him being I, I would say on back chat he's a little bit what's the word i'm looking for he's like a smart ass like you know you know he just thinks he knows it all he's um oh, what's, what else can i say about him on back chat He's cheeky, defo. He's oh, I don't know what to say. He does. He just does his banter. But not all of you obviously get it. But he's trust me. He's actually a really lovely person in real life. He's like he's actually a really great person. Like great guy. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you the story of the first time I thought to myself, wow, like this guy's such a sweetheart. Like genuinely, like really, really, really amazing person. So basically, you know Brandon. Um, Brandon's my bull. I might call him when I'm on my on my way or FaceTime him. But Brandon's my bull. So Brandon um, borrowed me um, an iPhone charger. He specifically told me, "Do not lose my iPhone charger. I have nothing else. Like I need my phone. 
later because I've got important like you need to like make some important meetings you know how you go like on zoom or FaceTime on your phone so I've got meetings and I need my, 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 my charger and he just made it clear like no one in his family has an iPhone so like this is the only charger he has so I should just guard it with my life so I was charging my thing and then I need to go to the loo so I thought oh, you know it's what big it's not gonna be a big deal to go to the loo and leave my phone on charge this is during back chat filming I'll go to the toilet, come back, tell me why my, the, the, my phone's still there, but why is my charger not there? My charger was not there at all. So someone had obviously t taken my charger, Brandon's charger. So I went to Brandon, I was just like, did you take your charger? And he goes, no. I said, you didn't take your charger? He goes, no. I was like, you didn't take your charger back from the, from the socket? He goes, no. I was like, oh shit. And he goes, why? I said, oh my God, I actually have no idea what your charger is. And imagine he just told me 15 minutes ago, and I'm thinking, shit, oh my God, I swear to God. And he goes, are you joking? I said, no. And then I'm thinking, I'll buy you one. But you know what, guys? I can't, they, these times is the pandemic. You, the Argos, you can't, like, only essentials are open. So, like, food and that. Argos ain't open. So, I'm thinking, when am I going to get him a charger? Like, curries and that ain't open. I'm just thinking, when am I going to get him a, a charger? So, he's like, I need a charger. And it's just, like, shit. And, like, time's ticking. Like, I think the shops were about to close. It was, like... Which back chat, we, we stopped filming back chat quite late in the day. Like we sometimes we stop filming at like even 8 p.m. So it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's late in the day, it's like six, seven, like this is not great. Like, and my man made it clear that he needs a charger for when he gets home for his meeting. So I'm thinking shit. So in the midst of me and him talking, and Brandon is so lovely, I'm like to him, I'm so sorry, can I send you the money? Like I've inconvenienced him. But all I can think of is let me let me he, let me send him the money, like bank transfer. I don't know how much a charger is, but I'm there about 45, 50 pounds. So I was like, let me just send you the money. Brandon's not having it. He doesn't want my money because Brandon's such a lovely person. Like he doesn't want my money. He's just like, no, Lani, you didn't do it on purpose. You shouldn't have to pay for it. And I'm thinking I should have to pay for it. I lost it. But he's just like, no, Lani, like he's just such a sweetheart. Like. And I'm just like, no, Brandon, like, I'm paying for it. And he was like, if you send me money, I'm just gonna send it back. And imagine, like, he's not even being upset with me, even though I know we deep inside, he's really like, Lani, like, he's, 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 he's obviously disappointed, but he, he knows, like, he knows that I'll never do it on purpose. So he's just trying to, like, let it go. He's, like, trying to just take the L. So in the midst of all of this, Gade is listening to me and Brandon, and Gade feels so for Brandon. And Gade like goes into his bag and says, oh Brandon, I've got a, um, an iPhone charger. And he goes, here you go, it's new. And I'm like, ah? Huh? And I was just like, yeah, it's new, don't worry, I've never used it. He goes, it's just a spare one because I got a new laptop and I've already got one I'm using. And he goes, don't worry about it, you can have it. And I was like to Gade, I'll send you the money. And Gade was like, oh, don't worry about it, this is cool. And I'm just looking at these two boys and I'm thinking, you guys are so sweet. Like, do you know what I mean? And at this point, we didn't even know each other as well as we know each other now, but God is giving me his charger. But like, no one wants my money. Like, everyone's just trying to look out for each other. It's just very, very lovely. Like, very lovely vibes. And it just really touched my soul. And I just thought to myself after that day when like, God, it came to the rescue. Cause he, no one would have known. Like, he could have just kept it to himself. So yeah, after he did that, I just really like, really like um, appreciated him I thought he was a lovely a lovely soul and yeah a proper really like a proper love he's a really nice person and proper love guy he's a really great guy um you know obviously like you guys probably have seen the stuff you've seen on the internet about him but at the end of the day no one's perfect so that's just something you have to remember no one's perfect not a damn person so for me I feel like with Gade like and I think he's shown it like when if you treat him right and you're a good friend to him he'll have your back um, I feel like maybe for fair enough like people fall out it's natural so maybe if you fall out with him yeah cool could go a bit left but um, I feel for the most part if he loves you and you keep it quite respectful even in a fallout um, he'll he'll try and just like move on from it and take the L. Um, he's just a lovely guy. So yeah, I really love him. Today's his birthday, and um, I know for a fact that he hasn't got anything planned. He does now. I just want you guys to know that this guy has plans now. Okay. Um, so you know us 
you know, I just wanted to make sure that his birthday was, you know, a little bit special. But then he went and had plans. If he told me about the plans beforehand, I would have spent the day with him. Duh. But anyway, we move back to the vlog. And he said he didn't want to do anything. He didn't want to fuss. And oh, yes, it also remember. Let's just call a spade a spade, you know. Um, Gade and Renee were really close. That's somebody he would have spent his birthday with today. Um, so he's gonna feel that he's gonna feel that void. Um, he might not admit it, but he will feel that void of that best friend, you know. So I just feel like um, I don't want him to feel any void. Fair enough, he's not. Me and him are not besties, you know. Hopefully one day. But I don't want him to feel that void. I want to make sure that he feels like um, somebody thought, thinks of him. Uh, Brandon took him for drinks on Friday night. And I have um, gone to get balloons blown up. And me and Emil ye met yesterday in Westfield. And Emil signed um, the card. So me and Emil got him a card. And then I just bought these balloons. Also, fucking love Emil. Fuck now. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go give them to him. Let me know, guys, if you'd love me to collab with a mill. I know people always complain when I collab with the youngest, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I think you should all, like, um, respectfully go and um, choke on some poo and suck a dick. Uh, Do you care about being on camera? Come on, introduce yourself! This is Gade's sister. Just waiting for the birthday boy. So you, you lot are taking pictures, right? Yeah. That's what they're doing. All this way! Hi! Happy birthday! You look nice. You look nice as well. Fashion! <laughs> okay, this is you. This is for you. And you're gonna hate what I got you. Because <laughs> you're outside. You're gonna hate it. <laughs> but I got it for you anyway. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's your birthday! Oh, thank you so much! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's your birthday. You're, you're meant to feel like a diva. From me in the middle. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> I don't do this. I'm not used to this kind of stuff. I'm not an emotional bitch. Oh, it's your birthday! Oh, yeah. oh, thank you so much. How old are you now? 27? <laughs> yeah. Wow! I'm grown, baby! No, he's such a young bitch! I'm grown. You bitches, I'm sweating like crazy. Oh my god, so what are you going to do? I've ruined, I've ruined your, your <laughs> You're going to be walking around with this. Haha! <laughs> people are going to nervous. People are going to be like, oh, happy birthday when I'm walking down the street. Don't you want that? It's not just me, I'm an attention seeker. I will on purpose do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> I like yes, excuse me. Uh, uh, hello. This is so <laughs> nice. I think it what was you doing with the meal? <laughs> <laughs> when you said oh. No basically we had a little hit me. But babe, why are you sweating? I have no clue. Cheap at all. Not too shabby. It doesn't look cheap at all. But I really appreciate this. Let me read let me read the card out for you guys. It says Yay! To Gunner Phillip, aka Daniel. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy birthday, my love. Hope you had a <laughs> fantastic day. You sexy bitch. You sexy boy. Yeah, um, Emil's one says, have a wonderful, blessed birthday and I'm wishing for you to see many many blessings big up Lani one time and big up Emil this is I don't little things like this mean a lot to me let's call Emil <laughs> let's call Emil let, but let me see if I can FaceTime him that's what you know <laughs> look it's a birthday boy thank you <laughs> thank you for the um 
Get the in. message in the card, it means a lot, man. Wait, 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 don't talk. I need to record this in my vlog. Don't speak. What? I need to, I want to put a in my vlog. How you do it? I'm just going to take pictures and I'm going to link my little man. <laughs> Who's your linking man? Your, your bae? Yes. So you are going? I'm going to go but not now. Oh, so he's going to get some dick. My little... <laughs> sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Sorry, I, I can't help being me. I can't help being me. Let's sing to him. Let's sing to him. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Link up soon, yeah. Link up soon when I'm free. Yeah, let's link up soon. Bye, honey. Okay, love you. You have a great day. And yes, let's have some fun soon. Okay? I'm cold. Me? So, guys, got a. Ooh. Okay, so guys, Gade's got his balloons, so that is done. Now I'm gonna go to my apartment and try and film a little bit of content, and then might go later to meet my friends in the park. Yeah, um, things didn't go according to plan. They did not go according to plan. Took too long to to to, to film. Oh my god, I went to bed at midnight. I think at midnight it's a bit late to go to a park, so I went to bed. I went to bed, guys. Um. Until next time, love you guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Bye! They call me Lonnie Good, but I'm a bad B. They stay looking, but these brothers can't have me. They call me Lonnie